guys it didn't take real long but i got a giant here this is probably a red ear is my guess it's a big and oh my yes it is it's a red ear wowzers it took a little while that sun had to be out for a few minutes for the fish to get active that is a one hell of a shell cracker oh my goodness Oh my gosh, wowzers. Whew. He may be 13 inches. This may be my personal best. It's gotta be 12. It has to be 12. Oh my God. Oh, we're gonna measure this guy. I'd say no matter what, this is the biggest and fattest I've ever caught. because it's a big pre-spawn female. Eleven and a half. Look at that, guys. Almost damn near 12 inches. That is a big old female. Holy smokes, man. This water's way warmer than I thought it would be. We had just had a 51 degree night. So I thought, oh no. But they're biting. I may even put the canoe in, guys, before the wind starts. That is one hell of a red ear. Big old pregnant female. That is a nice pregnant female shell cracker. Just look at that. Half inch away from my personal best. I got a 12 incher last year, but it was post spawn probably in June. This thing is about to drop. That's a big old thick female. So this is my heaviest red ear ever. Definitely my heaviest. That is one hell of a red ear, man. One hell of a red ear. Wow. What a beauty. I'm gonna keep some of these fish today. I guarantee it was a big fish, too. Got him. Oh, yeah. Nice one. Real nice. Oh, my. Oh, my goodness. Big old bass. Big. Real big. Big old spotted. All right, guys, I got that fish I missed a minute ago. Oh my, I just stepped in complete mud. Oh my God, look how fat that thing is. Jeez. I think they're still spawning. No, spotted bass here. Guys, this is one hell of a spotted bass. Definitely a female. Oh my God. It's only like, honestly, like 13 inches, but it weighs two pounds. It's so fat. God. 
No, the odds of a mean mouth in here are rare. They they are in here probably, but. Okay. You yep. sure you're getting it? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> what a catch, guys. He really it's wasn't really hooked fat. that great. Yeah, it is. Really, really fat. I thought I had a four or five pounder that fought so hard. Can you? Yeah, really right. thick. Oh. My gosh. Put that up there slow. Don't throw in the water. Put them slow. Oh my. What do you got? A spotted? You may have to walk him all the way down. I haven't even seen the fish yet. It's a little large mouth, I think. You don't need the net. You can pull him right over the dirt. You can grab him by the lip. It's a large mouth though. It's not a spotted. About a pound. Very first throw, guys. That didn't take long. There you go. Hey, he's not bad. It's actually a real large mouth, too. Grab by the lip, bottom lip. Yep, there you go. Uh, he's actually about a pound and a half. Oh, he's two pounds. It's really dirty on that side. Hold him up on the other side. Yeah, on that side. Hold him up for us. You reeled it up too far. Whoa, hey guys, about a two pound large mouth. Yeah. Not bad on some weird underspin. Looks like a Kai Tech with a underspin added to it. Real light Roadrunner type jig head. Hey, we don't know what. It didn't take long. What is that? In dingy water, guys. Oh my. Yeah, heck yeah. Small mouth. All right, good start. Hey. Hold it up with the lure. Put your finger in its mouth. I'll zoom it. Oh, uh. All right, guys, she got a nice small mouth on a Berkeley Ripple Shad. Hold it up. Come this way. There you go. Now hold its tail up more. It's kind of like this. Okay. There you go. Yeah, good job, huh? Nice. Heck yeah. Maybe it won't. Maybe it won't affect the bite much. That wasn't even that deep there, really. Guys, Wilman has got one of the coolest long ears I've ever seen. You're gonna have to hold that up to us. That is cool. Like, you're gonna have to hold it really good. I just missed something real big. Wow. It's a big one. It's really, it's really thick. yeah. Don't lose it. Hold it with the hook okay. so you don't lose it. Just grab it by the mouth. Mm. Uh, <laughs> you need to come on the other side. Come this way no that way, that way. you need to be on this side of me is what i'm saying because the sun is behind me or come over here in the shade come over here it'll show up better i guess it was worth coming in here that is cool looking guys that is definitely one of the coolest long ears i've ever seen it's more blue than orange definitely a female really wild <laughs> down just a little wow weird looking look at that yeah i know that's what i'm saying it's real. okay just hold it just 
like that. That is one wild long ear, guys. Wow. Yeah. Got him. Oh my, I got something nice. Oh, I think it's a spotted, but it's a big one. Yep, spotted bass. Yes. Oh, that's a real nice one. Yes, indeed. Nice spotted bass, guys. Biggest fish of the day so far by a long shot. Yep, oh, spotter. Where do you think you're going? Huh? Not a bad fish, guys. Not at all. I'll take him all day. sudden jolt. Alright guys, my best fish of the day so far. Uh, a little over a pound spotted bass. I'd say right at 13. Not a bad fish. Not a bad fish at all. I'll take them. They're biting pretty good for the middle of the day, I have to admit. For bright overhead sun, north winds, they're biting fairly decent. Oh, you're throwing it right where I caught him, ain't you? Yeah. All right, guys, you got a golden eye. Pretty cool catch. All right. Here goes nothing. I'm going to the middle of it where I can sit on these couple rocks that poke out. Try to get me a blue sucker. Here we go. I need to take my time and watch every step I take. I'm almost there, guys. It's just about 10 feet below me. I'm in the dead center of the river now. We haven't caught her first fish. I haven't caught anything yet. But she's holding something up down here. So let's go check it out. She she beat me to it. She already caught one and I haven't. I made her put four pound line on though. What'd you get? Oh my gosh. Red ear, huh? Not a bad one either. Yeah. Oh my. Can I hold it up for us? Come behind the van. Good lord. Not that hard to hold one of those. You're getting it all beat up. Just stand behind the... I saw the race on the bank. You gotta put your finger in its mouth instead of you're putting his hand over the gill. Yeah. Nice one. Now move your fingers. Yeah. Not bad. Yeah. Stand that way instead. Okay. Yeah. You got sun on my face. Yeah. You need to go that way. I'm gonna bring this. He's ten and a half. I'm gonna keep it. Not a bad yep. fish. Oh, you moved it. Oh right. my! Oh my! Oh, oh, oh. <clears throat> Come here, guys. Sometimes you just gotta wait until dark, and that's what it's all about. 
being patient until dark. Now that is a decent one compared to the ones we've been getting anyway. He's 10. I got so excited because any of them over five inches at this point have been a blessing. I thought he was a lot. I caught him actually with a hook pointing down. Now that's a nice crappie though for here. Heck yeah, guys. Not bad. All right, guys, I am purposely fishing for Asian carp at a spillway, and there's hundreds of them, literally hundreds. And I mean hundreds. They're everywhere. I'm hitting them every cast. A regular car. Awesome. I'll take that. Hey, can you? He's staying on so far. I'll be able to lift him here in a second. Yeah. Yeah, that's a nice car. Yeah, it is. I'll tell you. Yeah, I'll just I'll lift him. Yeah, or the gill. Yeah, grab him by the gill. Well, I got him like this. Got him? Uh, let me get in. Uh, now I do. You got him? Man, that go. really, I appreciate it. I'll make sure I freaking open my trunk and get my damn dip net. <laughs> Boy, right. he, yeah, he's a full 10. Yeah, that's a whole 10. Man. Hey, I appreciate you. You're big help. That really helped my day right there. Hey, that's hey, right when you drive two hours away, you don't want it to be for nothing. <laughs> All right, guys, I got this common carp on a crankbait, of all things. What a surprise catch. Wow. Nice carp. What a catch. Wow. You got 10, 12 pounds. Not a bad carp. Wires out. Maybe not. There we go. Got him off. Wrapped up. There we are. Nice couple car, man. Heck yeah. All right, guys, I'm going to get my dip net out of the car. That was stupid to come down here without it. Hey, you want it? Guys, we have been fishing two hours without a nibble, and this huge, about a four pound bass, swallowed my crankbait so deep I can't even see the bill. Oh my God. See, you don't get many fish, but they're giant. That's got to be what it is, man. Oh my, he inhaled that thing, dude. 
he didn't even bite that hard. It just kind of like he grabbed it and just stopped moving. And it, it just kind of like felt like a pillow down there. Whoa. Uh, I think crankbait's the answer, man. That, that, let's go with that. This is what I, that's two of them I've caught on the same one. You got any similar to this color? Chartreuse? Something like that? Or if not, I'd go with white probably. Something kind of bright, maybe yellow, orange. Oh my God, there's some giants in here. This is small compared to the two I caught though, but still, this is, I'd say an easy four. Guys, once again, on the Bandit 200 Chartreuse Blueback, one of my favorite crankbaits of all time, without a doubt. This thing always catches fish every time clear water muddy water does not seem to matter he's about 18 19 inches yeah, about 18 inches nice bass holy cow man he's got a really weird bottom mouth it's real pointy he's been caught before look at that because it comes to a point and it's real hard and he's got like a dent doesn't it look like he's been caught there's a scar, the scar right there. Tell you what, can you, can you show me where I like take up the whole screen but not cut off? I mean, that's a nice bass regardless. This looks more like a, a male, but I'm hoping to get that big female again. We've got two of them, last time were both females. It's not a bad bass though. He's actually only about three and a half. Still decent though. Looks a little thin. That helps though, doesn't it? I just don't think it has many in it, but when you get one, they're nice because that's half of them have been giant. I'd go with a crankbait, that's all I can tell you. Not a bad fish. I'll take any, if they're all like that, I'll be real happy, man. God. That's freaking amazing, man. He really didn't fight that hard. Tell you what, can you lean? to the right a little bit, just for a second. Try to, I mean, try to lean your, yeah. I'm putting my camera on top of my backpack for just a second. It's wanting to lean to the left really bad. Now it's about right. I'll tell you when. All right, guys, I'm gonna get him back in so he lives to see another day. Nice bass. I'm starting to get really disappointed. It is 7.30. We've been here an hour and a half and never caught anything until now. We tried ploppers, spinner baits, and finally the crankbait seems to be the answer. What a fish. It's not a sauger or walleye, but it is a very nice shadow bass. Very unexpected. That was on the very bottom, twitching it like you would for a sauger, and he inhaled that thing, man. That is a nice shadow. Really nice. Oh my. Beautiful. This is a four inch soft jerk bait and he inhaled it so much that all you see is the jig head my gosh he really wanted that thing that is so cool awesome at least I didn't get skunked that's the important thing I did not get skunked completely Nice little shadow, actually. Man, hey, at least I got one fish. It wasn't a complete failure. I could tell right away it wasn't a walleye or sauger because it was 
It's not fighting like one. And it's very small feeling. That explains it. Not a bad fish though, either way. Heck yeah, man. Oh my. Guys, I had no idea that was a crappie. I thought I had a bluegill, honestly. Wow. Freaking bluegill coin with me. And it was a big slab the whole time. They're just biting really, really, really light. They are not in the mood for chasing. You have to get it right in front of their face or they won't touch it. That's a big old black. 